Hello, I'm Chris Metcalf, Socrata's developer evangelist, and I'd like to welcome you to our developer community website. We'll quickly walk through the site and a couple of its key features, along with how to get started with the Socrata Open Data API. So the SOTA API is a great tool for discovering, filtering, and retrieving government data without the hassles and overhead of screen scraping and downloading bulk data. All of the data published on Socrata Powered Data Sites is available by the SOTA API, regardless of where that data is hosted. The best place to start learning about the SOTA API is on our Getting Started page. It includes an overview of the API, its capabilities, and how to start off with some simple requests. One of the great features of the, of the Soda Developer website is the ability to execute example code without ever leaving the context of the page that you're on. By simply clicking on the example URLs, they'll be automatically run in the Socrata Developer Console, which will drop down from the top of the page. Here you can examine the results of your query, make modifications if necessary, and otherwise experiment with the API. The Socrata Open Data API is a RESTful web service which supports both HTTP GET and POST requests, as well as HTTP basic authentication. In the future, we'll also support OAuth um, as an authentication method for developers. Wherever we can, we strive to make the SOTA API as RESTful as possible. As such, resources are hierarchical, with the top level resources you'll deal with more often being the Views resource, which represents both data sets and filtered views, and the Users resource, which represents both publisher users from government agencies as well as citizens who've commented or created filtered views on government data sites. Subsidiary resources are then nested underneath their parents. For example, you can retrieve an individual user using that user's user ID, or you can retrieve all the views that that user owns by using its views subsidiary resource. The same thing goes also for views. Uh, you can retrieve metadata about an individual view by its view ID, or you can retrieve a listing of all of its columns, or a listing of all its rows, or even an individual row using subsidiary resources and those IDs for those subsidiary resources. We also strive to be as, as agnostic as possible in the data formats that we support. For all data types, we support JSON, XML, and also RDF data types. In addition, we also support Excel XLS, CSV, and text format for row data, and also PDF for printable reports based on data sets. If you're looking for a jump start with a particular language, check out our code samples on GitHub. If you make any improvements, feel free to send us pull requests, uh, and we will gladly include your improvements in our, in our code base as well. If along your way you encounter any problems with the SOTA API, or if you just want to network with other SOTA developers, head over to our Git Satisfaction site and uh, post your questions there, and we'll try and answer them as quickly as possible. And finally, if you've built something cool and you want to show it off, submit it to our application directory and have included in our app gallery and in future developer contests. Thanks for watching our Getting Started video. We at Sakura are glad to have you aboard and look forward to seeing what we can build together with government data. Thanks.